I thought I'd just do a quick video to uh, show you how to create uh, target curves in REW and import them into Smart V8. So, um, first process is to open your EQ um, in Roo and um, you can create a, uh, a, a target curve um, using these uh, these selectors on the side. So let's let's do a full range um, curve. So um, we'll select full range speaker, um, and you can see that it's dropping off at about 10 hertz over here, and running flat all the way through to uh, 20,000 hertz. Okay, so uh, we can change the cutoff. So let's say we want to do the cutoff at um, I don't know, 30, for argument's sake. Um, with a 24 dB slope, that's fine. Um, and then at the, uh, for our rim curve, we actually want it to start rising up. So tick this box. We want it to start rising up from, let's say, 250. Um, at, I don't know, 4 dB per octave. Okay, so now we can see that curve um, rising up there to 30 and then dropping off. And then at the other end, let's say we want to uh, have that rolling off at, I don't know, 5,000 uh, with a f uh, fall off of minus two. Oops, <laughs> sorry, two. Okay, so now you can see, you know, we have a house curves that's kind of that shape. And we want our target level to be, I don't know, 40. It can be anything you want, depending on uh, how loud you're tuning your system. So that, that's ready to go. So uh, now click on generate measurement from target shape. Make sure you have target selected down here to display it, but so just click. Now, if you go into RU, into your SPL uh, measures, there's the graph there. Um, that we, that's the target curve that we just generated. You can see it there in green. So to get that into Smart V8, um, you go File, Export, uh, Export Measurement as a Text. Click OK. Um, we'll just call that HC. Save it as a as a text file. Now, then we go into uh, into Smart V8. You go File, Import, Import ASCII. Go and find the file uh, wherever it is. In this case, I've got it on the thumb drive. Select the file, open, and then import. Um, so now the file should be in here. If you can't see it, it's because the magnitude graph is too low. So if you scroll up, there we have it. There's the, uh, there's the house curve that we just generated. You can um, change the scale here by using the uh, plus or minus keys, up and down arrow keys, or the plus and minus keys um, to get it to the size that you want. And um, that's how you do it. Cheers.